bunch of slaves, letting everybody push you around. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Happy Independence Day, YouTube. Spread here, Poor Man's News, July 4th, 2012. I was running through the uh, Drudge Report yesterday and ran into an article, it was, it was a write-up in there, and I clicked on it and there was a link to a PDF file uh, done on the study of terrorists and what, what their characteristics are. Now some of you are thinking big deal, no big deal whatsoever. But what I've found is in this study, uh, the report takes us from a 2011 study entitled Profiles of Perp Perpetrators of Terrorism. Uh, it was produced by the uh, National Consortium and uh, Study of Terrorism and Response to Terrorism in which the following characteristics are used to identify terrorists. You're ready for this? Americans who believe that their way of life is under attack Hmm. That's one characteristic of, of a terrorist. Americans who are fiercely nationalistic as opposed to universal or international in orientation. Now this, this study was done for uh, the Department of Homeland Security. Also, people who consider themselves anti-global as opposed to, uh, yeah, I already said that. No, I didn't. <laughs> People who are consider themselves anti-global, uh, presumably um, those who are wary of the loss of American sovereignty. Americans who are suspicious of central, centralized federal authority. Americans who are reverent of uh, li individual liberty. Hmm. And then people who believe in conspiracy theories that involve grave threat to national sovereignty and or personal liberty. Hmm. Well, how does that sound to you guys? It sounds like I'm a terrorist. Hmm. I guess I know why uh, they bought 450 million hollow point bullets. That was uh, the Department of Homeland Security. Um, I'll make sure and uh, back that information up by linking uh, to the article for you guys to see that as well. Uh, I will also link to this PDF uh, file done for the Department of Homeland Security and their study in 2011. Um, that way you know that I'm not making this up. It's not a game, guys. It's not a game anymore. We have been taken over by a tyrannical government, um, which our government is pretty much owned by the central banking system, the IMF, uh, Global Bank, whatever. All them stupid globalists. That's all I can say. I am not celebrating our Independence Day today, and the reason being is because there's nothing to celebrate. Um, our freedom is gone. It's cooked. Until uh, changes are made, we're screwed. You know, it ain't the land of the free anymore. It's more like the home of the slaves. I hope you enjoyed your day. And uh, I notice it is getting hotter and hotter. Uh, you know, I mean, it's stuck right around 100 here today. It's going to be that way tomorrow and the next day. I find it almost symbolic that even last week, as soon as the Supreme Court upheld um, Obamacare, I found it very interesting, or like I said, almost symbolic, that uh, the wave of storms hit and uh, DC has been pretty much out of power since. Could it just be a uh, 
coincidence, yeah. But I, I thought it was kind of interesting. We had uh, some pretty bad storms come through here Friday. Had some bad storms come through Sunday as well. It was like uh, 80 mile an hour straight line winds. Pretty wild. Anyway, I, I'm going to quit rambling. Let you guys check out these uh, documents. I will link to them below the video. So all you have to do is just either click show more, click to the link, uh, yeah, to the PDF file on the, um, I believe it was uh, University of Maryland or I can't exactly remember. I can't remember everything. Uh, but I'll make sure and link to that for you to read as well and also to the article where Department of Homeland Security bought 450 million hollow point bu bullets and I don't believe that's going to be for uh, target practice. Anyway, have a good one.